Hi everyone, this is Tim Brown. Welcome back. For this topic, we're going to start a new project. So when you first open iMovie, you will see the area where your projects reside. And you will also see a plus symbol. That plus symbol enables you to start a new project. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And you'll see you'll have two options. Select movie or select trailers. Now trailers is a independent feature altogether that requires an entirely different flip grid. So Let's explore that later on, but for now, we're just going to focus on movies. So you're going to select the movie option. And then you're going to be given this menu of options. Basically, that menu on the top left refers to everything you have in your library by categories. You can go through those menu options to bring in the content that you have stored on your device, or you could just simply select create movie to come into a brand new document. And once you're inside the brand new document, you have that same menu on the top right corner to bring in content. That's why you don't have to bring it in right away if you don't want. Let me just quickly go over the menu options that are on screen right now. You can see there really aren't that many. You already know about the menu at the top right. That's how you bring in your content. But down below in the bottom right, you'll see there's another tab. In addition to media, there is also audio. And under the audio tab, this is where you bring in soundtracks or access your own music or bring in sound effects. So you do have all of those options as far as media is concerned. And of course, on the left hand side is basically your viewfinder where you will actually view the content that you have in your project. And down below is the timeline. Now, midway between the viewfinder and the timeline, you will see a couple icons there. On the far left is the microphone. Then there's the camera icon. Both those icons enable you to record audio and video inside iMovie. You have a play button that will play your content back. You have buttons on the far right which enable you to undo any decisions you make in your project. And that little funny waves uh, icon there that basically represents the ability to show the audio wave of any video file. We're going to look all at all that stuff when we start to bring content into our projects. 